why Senate made you turn on its plan to override Buhari's veto on the red primary election. Welcome to the news. If you are new on this page, kindly subscribe. And if you have been there supporting us, thank you and God bless. The electoral amendment bill which the Senate submitted to President Mwari has not been signed into law. Many Nigerians thought the president will send the bill upon receiving it, but unfortunately, he did not. He instead returned it to the Senate for amendment. However, the move by the Senate to override the veto of the president on direct primary election failed as the Senate has had a second thought. The Senate and the House of Representatives make up the National Assembly and both worked on the electoral bill before it was forwarded to the president. Now that the president has returned to the bill for amendment, it is common sense for the Red Chambers to consult the Green Chamber before taking any concrete decision on the matter. This is to avoid conflicts of interest and ensure that the two chambers are on the same page. If the Senate are gone ahead to override the President's veto, the House of Representatives may return from Christmas and New Year holidays and decide to disassociate itself from the decision of the Senate. The Electoral Amendment Bill is sensitive, especially as the 2023 general election is fast approaching. The direct primary election, if signed into law, may cause confusion in the sense that political parties have the constitution that guides them and the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria recognizes the right of political parties to conduct their affairs in a manner that their constitution stipulates. Some Nigerians see the push for direct primary as a move to checkmate the powers of governors who often use indirect primary election via delegates to influence who becomes a candidate of political parties in an election. However, we we'll wait to see how it will play out in January when both chambers of the National Assembly must have returned from holidays. Nothing is playing out. These people are members of the same political party and they will all want to work with the interest of the leadership of the party. Let's hear the comment of the people. There is no National Assembly in Nigeria but National Gathering of Political Parties using the people's money for their personal benefits. It is, and it is the reason they will not override him. In the first place, do these guys have enough courage to override Buhari's decision on a electoral bill? Better for them, Nigerians are watching. The Senate of Lawa will override Buhari, I laugh. Which veto they wanted to override a rubber stamp National Assembly? I, I'm still a strain on this contentious issue of direct primary and indirect primary. I will give my own stand on that. Yeah, I'm just cruising with my life for now. The celebration of the end of the year is on my mind. Another person said this this Senate can't never over can never override Buhari. They are mere rubber stamp and stooges. Well, that is opinion. Of the people, what is yours? Kindly make it known as you subscribe to my page. Thank you, good day, and God bless.